Until now, the World Equestrian Games have been an exclusively European event, but that's changing. For the first time ever, the world's biggest equestrian competition is coming to the United States, to the Kentucky Horse Park in Lexington this fall. Among the other seven disciplines is vaulting, in which both gymnastic and dance elements are combined and performed on a cantering horse. Alan Mann of Atiquan traveled with us to Woodside, California to meet with 2006 World Equestrian Games individual gold medalist Megan Benjamin as we continue our countdown to WEG. There's team vaulting and individual vaulting and they're definitely two different categories. Um, in individual vaulting it's based on four rounds of competition. The compulsory round which is where everyone does the same seven exercises. The freestyle round where you basically get to do your own thing and then a technical round which is similar to a a figure skating short program where there's designated exercises made into a freestyle and then the freestyle again is the fourth one um, and then team is seven people on one team three people on the horse at once up to three people on the horse at once um, and it's based on compulsories and then two freestyle rounds the team compulsories take seven minutes because each each person takes about a minute to do the full set of compulsories and then each team freestyle is four minutes long the freestyle usually starts with one person on the horse and then they pull someone on and then they do a, a little bit of a pas de deux, which is two people on the horse at once. And then you get a little kid on and you throw them around. <laughs> wow. And do some pretty high flying things. I think what people need to understand is that this horse is not standing still, correct? Correct. The horse is moving at a canter. A nice dressage collected canter. Typical vaulting horse is between 17 and 18 hands. They're big guys, big warm bloods usually. Um, big long backs. They're sort of the dressage rejects. You know, they're not they're not super short and collected. They're they're longer usually, um, tall. But you know, vaulting vaulting is their primary job, and, and they almost always love it. You know, it wouldn't work if they didn't. So, do you have to do any special training to prepare them for the sport? Yeah. So, a vaulting horse typically uh, gets vaulted on two to three times a week. And then the other days are spent doing dressage uh, and trail rides and, and just sort of general um, cross training. Well, vaulting is the best discipline to start with, absolutely, as a child especially. Um, it's the best way to get a good seat and it's definitely, it's the gateway. It's sort of the gateway drug to all the other equestrian sports. Um, you gotta, you know, if you start with vaulting, then you're set for life. Adequan is proud to be a major sponsor of Inside Reining, the National Reining Horse Association, and the United States Equestrian Federation. Thank you, thank you, Adequan. Thanks, Adequan. Thank you, Adequan. Thanks, Adequan. Thanks, Adequan. Thanks, Adequan. Thanks, Adequan. Grazie mille, Adequan. Thank you, Adequan. Thanks, Adequan.